No one is more relaxed than adult male Morris. In the museum gang hierarchy, Morris is near the bottom because he's male. The ring-tailed lemur society is strictly matriarchal. The lowest ranking female is still above the highest ranking male. And Morris is the lowest of the low. Like all males, he's supposed to be guarding the territory. Instead, he's showing off. He smears his tail with smelly secretions from his wrist glands, then wafts it at whoever's nearest. If it's a male, it's known as stink fighting. If it's a female, it's stink flirting. But when Morris does it, it's just irritating. As usual, Morris is doing his own thing. He wafts a stink bomb, trying to provoke a quick play fight. But the other male's not having any of it. The rivals eye each other. A young ruins female makes a bold advance. Morris breaks museum gang lines and counters her move, never one to miss a chance to stink flirt. To his surprise, she seems interested. Not the reaction he's used to. So he panics, fleeing onto the boundary wall. She pursues him, but now it's in anger. He escapes, but in the wrong direction, straight into Ruins Gang territory. It's a huge mistake. The ruins gang closes in. Morris runs for cover. With the ruins gang in hot pursuit. At the museum, Katie and her gang can hear the commotion but they do nothing. She's not gonna start a fight over a lowly male. With no hope of rescue, Morris sprints for the gap in the boundary wall. One last pointless waft, and he's gone. The invader vanquished.